All right, guys, let's talk about stock or uh, gear ratios and tire sizes for VW buses. Um, this can get kind of complicated because they have a lot of different combinations on these. And most of the time, uh, the transmissions at some point have been changed. So you might be driving your bus and then realize um, that the RPMs are way too high on the freeway. Or maybe you think they are. And they maybe they're not and you just don't really know what to feel for it is a bit of a challenge so um, I've got a lot of experience driving buses I've driven I've driven had one my whole life pretty much and the uh, the gear ratios from the original factory the best gear ratios were always with the big nut transmission okay so what they did in the early days is they had a small nut transmission so this is a big nut okay this is a 46 millimeter socket that fits on this nut the early ones had a 36 millimeter which is the same size that fits on your bug so the later models had a 46 early ones had a 36 millimeter okay so the early buses had a 1.39 to 1 gear reduction box which in today's world uh, most of the guys are finding those to be kind of useless because they had this size tire on it so look at how tall this tire is um, it's hard to see in the video but um, this is a really tall tire we're going to compare it to this is a bug tire a 165.15 and look at how much taller the tire is that came on them uh, what they say is comparable to this size, size tire is a one as a 205 75 15 I don't know I haven't put one next to it, but it's probably still not as tall as this tire is So the early pre 64 I believe 64 was a split year um, pre 64 had these tall tires on it and it had the 1.39 to 1 gear reduction ratios the big nut was for the 14 inch tire and it was 1.26 to 1 um, all right so this one is a original bias ply spare tire from something I've had and I believe it's actually um, the correct size and let's compare this this is for a 14 this is for the 1.26 to 1 Let's compare this to the 165.15. The 165.15 is about the same size, maybe just a little bit smaller, but not much. That's why I say to run the 205.75.14, because it is actually, according to the tire size charts, I believe an inch taller than these. So these are not... I would say that the 165.15 is supposed to be the same height as the 185.14 um, as far as the tire choice chart goes, and it's slightly smaller than this. Now, they were all designed for very small engines, so they, they were revving really high RPMs on the freeway and had very low maximum speeds. Like, the early bus would probably do like 60 and then they changed it to 65 in uh 19 six in the in the late 60s which was really pushing it for the engine rpms at that um they said 65 and then 70 was your passing in the late model 1.26 to 1. now i've often seen some guys driving around with 185 70 14s on their bus and that is really not a good idea if you're running gear reduction boxes because i believe the original size comparable because they didn't have the bias they only had bias ply in that that at that time uh the the metric size i believe is a 185 14 that matches up to the original size tire for the uh late model so this is the early so what i've always done to make my engine RPMs with the stock transmission uh, be drivable in any form uh, is I've run 
14 inch tires on my on my buses that's what's on this one okay but uh even in today's world you know you're still maximum maybe 65 with those with those wheels and tires on it and a lot of times the freeways today really want you to be doing 70 or more you know and, and, and you know your risk is to get rear-ended by somebody just not know, noticing that somebody's going that slow because to be honest people just aren't ready for that they don't they're, it's not common it's not something they see all the time so they're you know your risk is to always get rear-ended so you have the guys with the thing on that's a slow moving vehicle that does help some of the guys are going to a straight axle um, the issue with that is you have to lower the bus and when you lower it and you use a straight axle just to get the tire off the wheel uh, the, to get it off the bus you have to jack up your trailing arm because it's up too high so you can't get the wheel off until you jack up the trailing arm so it's a bit of a pain when you do that straight axle modification and your bus is lowered so you have to lower the back lower the front you know then you're gonna probably want to put disc brakes on things like that you know because you got now you have bug drums in the back so um, you know you don't have as the adequate braking of the original bus because you have smaller drums and then so you're gonna to want to go to disc brakes in the front doing the doing the lowering and straight axle thing can be pretty pricey and it can be a really uh, a big change you know it, you're gonna to have to do some re-engineering all kinds of stuff like that so let's talk about what you can do to run the original uh, gear reduction boxes and still have a really good drivable car um, what I do is I use the big nut transmission okay my favorite gear combination is this and I'm going to tell you why so 344 gears and then I'll put a bug fourth gear in it because so now the thing that's inside the transmission on the buses, the original ones, was a 412, okay, with a 0.824. Okay, that's what came in them originally. A lot of times that's been changed. So a lot of guys will take a regular bug transmission, which has a 0.894, okay, and they'll put it in a bus, and just to do that, you have to flip the ring and pinion. They'll put that in the bus that happened maybe in the 70s or something like that when the transmission went out and they just grabbed the first thing they could find and a lot of times you'll see them also having cut out fender wells and they start putting really tall tires in them to try and make them work out you know because it was just a, like i said these were cheap cars they were something that you could just you know you you didn't really care you just were trying to drive get somewhere so my my reasoning behind behind using the 0 0.894 it gives you a taller first, second, and third gear. Um, and the most important part of that is that the third gear is really tall. Okay. And I've run this with a 16 single port and it ran fine. Is the third gear is really tall. So you can actually go up to maybe 60, 60, a little over 60 miles an hour with these tire sizes that I have on here, the 205, 75, 14s. You can go up to like, 60 to 65 and shift at a third so what that does is it gives you the third gear so when you're climbing a hill you'll be in third and you'll be at a decent speed again so you don't get rear-ended if you're going too slow climbing a hill people just today are not ready to to see that you know they they they, they are all oh, oh my god what's this a vw bus i mean years ago that was common you know, back when these buses were new, it was common. People were ready for it. They, oh, there's another bus. Oh, well, it's either a truck that's going uphill and causing traffic or a VW bus. It was one of the two. So they were ready for that. Today, you know, the trucks have a lot more power. They got a lot more turbo boost. And there's not any VW buses really on the road other than us classic guys. So you have to be aware that we are different by having these old cars. So, the way to combat that is you go to the 344 gears, okay? Some guys will do this. They go to the 388s, okay? So, stock was a 3, 412, okay? They go to the 3.88 gear set, 
and then they still stay with the 82 fourth. But the problem with that is you don't you don't get that third gear um, so that you can go like 50 or 52 for a long period of time if you're climbing a hill. You know, if you're if you're in a in third on that, you're going to be at like 45, and that's just too slow. Now the big problem with that is, of course, the gear sets for the 344s are expensive. They're not cheap, but you know what? If you're going to drive one of these old things, it's just a price you got to pay. And to me, you know, don't cheap out on it. It's it's your life. It's your safety. If you get rear-ended, if it happens to you once, you're not going to care whether you spend an extra $200 on your transmission. So the first thing that you want to check is put 205-75-14s on your van. See if and you drive it to kind of know what's in it see if it drives at 65 on the freeway if it doesn't drive at 65 on the freeway probably your transmission is not original it's probably a bug trans then if it does then you kind of know where you're at on a baseline you probably have um if it drives with a engine rpm that's in i'm going to say under 4,000 rpms It'd be pretty, it'll be pretty close to that, but it'll be up there pretty high. Um, then you know that you have original equipment. And then you know at that point what you need to do to change it. And, uh, and if you do have, if, you, if you're going to run the original trans, um, make sure that you have the taller size tires. I've seen guys, again, with the 185 7014s, and they're running in stock gears and they're trying to drive their bus 60 miles an hour on the freeway. That is just not, it's not in the range of, uh, of something that's going to work out for a very long time. You're going to find yourself burning up a motor. Motors are way more expensive than even transmissions are. So it's just better to just know what you have, go with the taller tires. You might want to do some math. Um, and it's, this will really help you understand. Um, but what I'm trying to explain to you is really important is what it's like actually driving it. So you can do all the math you want, but if you don't know, kind of have a baseline, which I have the experience for, um, then it doesn't help you much. But um, if you know that baseline, like what I'm telling you, you know, at 65 is about max speed on a bus um, with stock gear ratios. Um, and that's if you know that it's stock, you may not know that like that. 67 Westy, I know it had the original trans still in it. It had the right case, it had the right case number, it had everything uh, in. I believe that it has the original transmission in it, and I drove it, and it felt like it was. So, But it's it's difficult when you don't know, you've never done it before, you've never driven one. So anyway, so you take your, uh, well, here's the stock transmission for a bus. It's 4.12 times point. 82 that's your fourth gear okay equals uh, times 1.26 okay so that's your final drive is 425 okay so 425 is your final drive now so let's clear this out. okay so then you go to your to the the one that I put in is 3.44 times uh, 0.89. Okay, that's the bug fourth. All right. And then you equals, and then take that number times 1.26. Should be 385, I believe. If I remember right, yeah, 385's final drive. So that's a very big difference between there and the original one. Let's take a bug. Okay, a good driving bug is a 3.88 gear ratio times uh, 0.89. That's a stock Super Beetle. So a stock Super Beetle is 345. So some people say, well, Mike, you can't put the 388s in your bus because, you know, the engine RPM will be too low. Well, this is perfect in a bug. So you know, I don't totally agree with that. Um, so let's let's look at what a 412 bug is. A 4.12 412 bug engine 
bug transmission times 0.89. Now this is a 1968 bug. That's still 366 final drive. So the bus, yeah, the 344s is still higher than the original, um, you know, it's still a, 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 a shorter gear ratio than what was in the bug. And those worked actually pretty well. And, you know, my speed in a bug, I could, I could go 70, no problem. You know, when a 344 drives at 70, really nice. Um, 75, no, nah, not really. Um, but, you know, that, I'm just kind of giving you a baseline. So I'm running a little bit taller tires also than a bug. So keep that in mind as well. The, that's why I say the 205 75 14 is about an inch taller than the, uh, than the bug thing. So it averages out where I'm running about like a 3 a 412 total with my tires and everything else so this is the kind of way you i'm just trying to show you you know you got to do your math you got to do your homework you got to uh play with the numbers and figure out what's the right thing for you so if you're going to run low profile tires on a bus then you got to really get creative and you're going to have to get those tire size differences and look at it, see how much it is and then figure it out that way so on my other bus it, all right, let's try this again. Four point, no, I have a, oh, sorry, I have a 3.44 times 0.82 equals times 1.39. So that's what's in my early bus. So I have a small nut transmission, but I'm also running 205.75. 15 inch tires so they're they're like two inches taller than the 165 15 so it does 70 no problem uh, 75 even you know it'll speed up to 75 but i usually won't drive it much more than 70 so that just kind of gives you an idea um of a baseline so you can kind of figure out how to do the math on your tires and your wheels and your in your uh stuff like that to make sure you get something that will work right on your vehicle anyway i'll talk to you guys in the next video please like share and subscribe i hope it helped out for me to show you some of this stuff